Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin, but they still reveal things to us. As they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table, the story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Hello and welcome to a uh, special edition of Bone Thrower's Theater. We are going to be doing a special one-shot series featuring the Star Wars universe. We are going to be using our Star Wars role-playing game by Westing Games revised, expanded, and updated version. This is Johnny, your host for this series. My name is Aaron, and I am going to be playing Rotber. This is Jeremy, and I'm going to be playing Saf Kidron. This is Jordan, and Qual will be playing Qual. <laughs> this is Jeff, and I'll be playing Zorar Mandul. So, as I said, this few series of episodes will have some spoilers about the movie if you have not seen it. Warning, warning, warning. If you guys think you should continue listening and you haven't seen the movie, well, you're back against the qual. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Up against the qual. Up against the qual. <laughs> so, we decided that we are going to do a series of episodes featuring some of the side characters from the movie The Rise of Skywalker. At this point, I think it's more fair to say that these characters are inspired by the Rise of Skywalker. Yes. yes. Inspired by the side characters of the Rise of Skywalker. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're like three times removed from the movie at this point. But we promise it might make sense. For, For now, now, we might we might see some of these side characters yes. in the podcast. Yes. For those who have seen the movie, we are going to be part of the crew of Zori Bliss, the former Spice Running crew of Poe Dameron. Is Poe going to be in this? Did we ever determine if Poe is actually going to be in this? I think no. we decided this is like after he's left for the yes. Okay. yes. So we get to talk really bad about that dirtbag who left us in the lurch. We surely could. Yes. Because he was our best pilot. To start off our adventure. So just so you all can get a little bit of a visual of going on, what's going on here. Johnny has a stack of books and binders that is about two feet off the table. <laughs> Yeah. And these are all, not even This a is quarter. a small portion of the reference guides yeah. for West End Games' version of the Star Wars role-playing game. It's not even all the ones he has. Yeah. No. This system was really robust in the later 80s, early 90s, all the way up through the early 2000s. Yes. And then they lost the license around the time of Attack of the Clones. Yep. And it went over to... Oh, Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast. And, and they did a, a version that was very similar to... Fourth edition of Dungeons and Dragons, if I remember yes. correctly, and then and everybody took their stats and converted it back to D six out of D twenty system. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then um, and the, there's actually a lot of fans who still love the the old West End Games system. I mean, obviously, we're fans of West End Games from yes, a long mini time. six, yeah, mini six, um, even open D six is yeah. all West End games. So it was kind of a natural fit to us. To jump into this system for a Star Wars one shot. And now you said you had the ship. Yes, I have the ship. Your crew is flying in a Nova Drive 3Z light freighter. The time frame is just before The Force Awakens. You recently lost your crewmate, Pro Dameron. That darn resistance. Yes, he went off to join the resistance. First orders everywhere, slowly eradicating the New Republic. And. Y'all have been given the job of going and collecting some spice from Kessel, an entire load, and delivering it to Nalhutta. Okay. I really shouldn't be on a spice ship. And why is that? Because I'm addicted to the stuff. I thought that's why you got the job on the spice ship. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a difference between shoulda and woulda. Do we know that you're addicted? No. You, don't, you have not told us? <laughs> I haven't told anyone. How long have each of you been in the crew? Qual has been in the crew for about seven years. How, how about each of you? About a year. About a year? Let's say right before Poe left. Right before Poe left. So you met Poe. We did one, one job together. together. And that's okay. it. And then he left. And there are Mandalorian over here? I've been here for 
Six years. All right. Now as a Mandalorian, do you follow the way? This is the way. Are you the only Mandalorian outside at the moment? No, not the only one, but there are very few of us outside. Okay. For those of you who have not watched The Mandalorian, we are making references to that show. Yeah. Yeah. I've Spoiler. It. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, you've been uh, given the assignment to deliver a, a shipload of spice to now Hutta. No. Did we get this job directly from the huts, or did we? No. No. This is from a completely different uh, syndicate. It is what's left of the Black Sun, because the First Order came in and took out most of the Black Sun. Yeah. So, this is the remnants of the Black Sun trying to rebuild themselves. And you all are just looking for a healthy payday. Always. Mm-hmm. Especially our two gamblers over here. Because uh, last uh, break, they both lost a significant amount of credits. And unlike usual, it wasn't to each other. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you have to go between each other like, and spot each other alone? It's like, hey, do you have 30 credits? If there's a- well, I think after that last, if we didn't lose it to each other, we were both mad that we didn't give the other person a chance to win their money back. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Are any of you piloting the Nova Drive? No. 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 Okay. No. Um, because <laughs> I, I actually. You're a starfighter only. I have my starfighter. I can pilot my starfighter if need be. Yes. Um, or I can, like, dock it with the ship and ride in the main ship. Yeah, that's part of why I chose this one, is big enough to hold your B Wing. Yes, I do have a B Wing. <laughs> it's not really docked inside. More docked on top of. I was imagining like how the Millennium Falcon yeah. attaches to other ships. Like, sort of like that, yes. Yeah. So, we'll say Zori is with you. She's your pilot for this run. She bossy? It's very. Just go see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you fools, get ready. We're about to come in for a landing on Kessel. As you uh, enter atmosphere, you see that it's not much of an atmosphere. They have uh, atmospheric generators going all over the place. Just so you are able to walk around outside without a breathing mask. But even then, it's hard to breathe on this planet. You land, and you see the uh, the newest iteration of the control tower. And sure enough, there's some First Order stormtroopers stationed outside the door to it. This is the first time you've seen the First Order on Castle. How many? There are four stationed outside the door. I would like to try and use my radio frequency sensitive antennae to see if I can pick up any frequencies about why they are on Castle. What you pick up over the radio frequencies is nothing unusual. Just, Just like standard, standard traffic. Or, yeah. Your regular contact is stationed uh, right inside the main building, right where the stormtroopers are, of course. And because you took this job from uh, the remnants of the Black Sun, it offers a very large payday, but at the same time it's a very high risk if you do not follow through. As in, your lives will end. Are we planning to haul a substanti- substantially larger amount of spice than we normally would? I wouldn't say it's substantially kind of larger. Load. It's a full load. So I'd say, if you remember from a Solo, the canisters they had, there's an unrefined spice. You're going to be hauling about twice as much of the refined spice as what they had. They're about the size of an oxygen canister. More. Uh, Eleven more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Nobody's questioned you about landing. You had received your regular landing procedures as normal. So, you want to just walk in, or you want to try to yeah. investigate more? Sap looks out the front cockpit window. And it's like I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Gambler. Sora <laughs> just walks in. So I'm not the brightest bulb in the bunch. <laughs> so you're just walking straight towards the stormtroopers. Yeah. All right. I have perfectly legitimate business being here. Yep. Zori. Uh, is right behind you. I think I'd accompany him. Alright, so Zori, Mando, and uh, Roper. Roper are on their way to the building. Quell is going to join them as well. Alright. It did not mean that for that to run. <laughs> Quell is very interested in first order technology because they are producing more efficient technology than anybody else in the galaxy. At yes. Point. Well, I mean, no one was told to stay on the ship. Nobody was Zap, told to stay on the ship. Staff's going to go as well. From your previous experiences here, your ship will be fairly safe. Someone flies off with it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to do is give a command. <clears throat> and no, none of you are good enough to make the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Only the most daring of pilots are willing to risk that. Many have died attempting it since then. I don't think Zora is no. quite that. She's not that daring of a pilot. Poe, he might have tried it. We do not speak of Poe. 
Especially not since he owes both of them money. Both of them money. <laughs> That's why I think he really left. No one wants to be part of this resistance. Just didn't want to pay up. You gotta agree with that. You approach the stormtroopers. They uh, noticeably stand at closer attention and uh, face you, blocking your access to the doorway. State your business. We're picking up some supplies. This building is under quarantine for the next 16 hours. Why? One better not say insect infestation. <laughs> That's neat to know. Is it dangerous? That's neat to know. Well, we're getting paid to make a delivery, so I think we need to know. Yeah. Please return to your ships. Please return to your ship. <laughs> he points his blaster at you. <laughs> Quill will go back to the ship. All four of them point their blaster at you. <laughs> when you say that. <laughs> Look, I don't want trouble. You don't want trouble. Why don't you just let us do what we gotta do? Oh, we're all working stiffs here. This is what he's trying to say. You know, you guys want to get paid. We want to get paid. Let's just do our job. Return in sixteen hours. Let me, let me, let me, let me try and strike a bargain. This gentleman over here, Roper, Roper. he's got a large crate of Carillion ale that I'm sure he'd be willing to share with you. If you just come on, let us pick up our shipment. Carillion ale. I do. It's it's back here in the ship. So I'll tell you what. All right. Roll con. I was more of a bargain than oh, I was trying okay, to Okay, roll bargain. <laughs> Three plus two. Bargain. Got a 14. So, how much uh, Krillin Ale did you say you have? A crate. Minus a couple of bottles. The Stormtroopers are looking at each other. Three of them are not in each other. The fourth one has his blaster trained on you. And the three of them, are like, yeah, yeah, we should. This sounds like a good deal. They just want to get inside. What's going to happen is uh, we shoot them. And you hear them saying this to each other. The fourth one is just like, get back to your posts to the other three. If you want to continue to try to bargain with them, roll again. Right. If you can convince this last one, you'll get in. And I'll tell you what. It's a gamble. <laughs> That's what I was trying to spend it. <laughs> it. I bet you that I can drink you under the table. And if you can outdrink me, I'll give you 100 credits. I lost that bet last week. <laughs> And you're saying to the one that was resisting? Yeah. Yeah. He's not a gambler. Well, sorry guys. It looks like uh, Fuddy Duddy here isn't going to let you guys have fun. Uh, Return in 16 hours. How about we get done what we need to get done and then you stop everyone else and we just do our jobs? Exactly. I'm doing my job. Well, your job is preventing us from doing ours. Not my problem. Saf is going to turn to Zori and be like, uh, so what What do we do here now? She steps up. First order. Is there a command the officer can speak to? You can return to your ship. Are you a droid? Because is that all you say? Is that a recording? I didn't know they let droids be stormtroopers. He that. shoots at your feet. Oh yeah, you're a stormtrooper. You missed. <laughs> <laughs> He raises it to point at your chest. Uh, at this point, I would like to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Zuri, she takes out her vibra blade and stabs it straight into the stormtrooper closest to her. Which one is that? Is that the resisting one? No. No. Oh, that's what I was hoping. <laughs> so, the resisting one is this guy. In the far In the back, back of the... Roll initiative. What's the initiative based off of? Dexterity? Yes, dexterity. What the... Oh, really? Oh my god! Yeah! What the heck? This is not, a, not gonna be fun. Do I got a 14? I got a 9. 9? On 7. On seven. 4 dice. On 13. Alright. Stormtroopers are going last. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I rolled a 3. I did not roll a 6 on my wild side. Yeah, because you're not GM. <laughs> Paul's going first. So you are in the ship. <laughs> you are still going first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're in the ship, and you just saw your leader, so you see her just suddenly stab one of the stormtroopers. That's cool. I would like to shoot the stab stormtrooper. With the ship's blasters? No, 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 no. I I was assuming... Okay, with yours. Yeah, like right through the canopy. No. (laughs) Because when you went back to the ship, you said you were going to open fire. I was like... (laughs) (laughs) This this, this could get really messy. (laughs) 
we're doing this now. This is very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to use my very nice blaster. I was assuming that I was still on the ramp leading up to okay. the ship. Okay. Okay. So I am not in the ship. I am at the ship. I went. <laughs> I, I went back the to the ship as yes. instructed. But they did not tell me to go into the ship. No, they did not instruct you to go that into your ship. They said return different. to your ship. Yell at them from the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> say what you mean to say, and don't hurt my friend. All right. Bla uh, I rolled a good number on my blaster. It is so good, so huge that you're not even going to believe it. 16 on my blaster. Okay, you hit. Yes! <laughs> Roll damage. Damage <laughs> Damage is 16, so it's e 4 Five, six, two more. And this is a short shot, too. Yep. 14 damage. He's stunned from your shot. He's more injured from the knife, from the viral blade. That's not fair. This is an amazing gun. It is. You're shouting this at them? Because <laughs> <'Cause, laughs> you're like 30 meters away. I know. So. It's a Verpine Shadow Gun, which is an amazing weapon. Yes. It right. is rare. It'll leave. All right. It, and I love it. Jeff, you're up. I'm going to stab with my double-handed viro blade thing. Double bladed. Vingarden. Vingarden Leviosa. Vingarden double bladed <laughs> viro blade. <laughs> He's gonna try to parry you with his uh, blaster rifle. No matter which way I look at. It. Oh. Really? So I got ten. You nicked him. Roll damage. Four D plus one. Now hopefully you nicked an artery. Twenty-seven. I nicked his life off. He is wounded once. Ooh. You hit him in the face plate, and it uh, smashed his mask open. Can you see his eye? Can I see her his eye? eye? Her, her eye. eye. Her <laughs> eye. <laughs> Surrounded so, by silver. No, none of these are crime troopers. You're up. I'm going to shoot the resisting one with my blaster. All right. Seventy. Watch it roll on one. No. <laughs> Nothing below a three. Let's just say that. 33. 33, alright. Direct hit to the chest. 5D. Ah! Oh! I think it's okay. 11. He falls down unconscious. Really? Really. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? That was the resisting that was the one. That was uh, this guy. The resisting one. Well, now they're all resisting. <laughs> Right, because you... And you're up. Zori stabbed him. So I guess, so we're all here. These guys are being kind of beaten up on... He's wounded. He just got stabbed. I'm going to step up to this guy and punch him in the face. With all right. Gauntlets? With my stun gauntlets. Now, the stun will be less effective on him because of his armor. Just no, that's so fine. Know. So I'm rolling brawling, correct? Correct. Or Hellboy Stone Fist? Yeah, 14. All right. You definitely punched him in the face. Strength plus 2D. 14, 16. All right, took a step back, stunned, but he's ready to swing at you. All right, and they're up, so you're getting swung at. Okay. Swinging his blaster rifle at you like a club. I guess what are my options? Can I? Go... You can block it with a brawling parry, or, I or you can dodge. dodge. Block it with a brawling parry, I think. Because they don't count as a Woo weapon, a melee weapon. 10, 16. He hit you. Oh, no wild die on those right? No, there is. Okay. 13. All right, so he takes his uh, rifle, he swings it at you, it hits your shoulder, but you just kind of shrug it off. Yeah. All right, and the other two are stunned, so they are not doing anything this round. And we're back up to a uh, qual. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shoot at the same one I shot at before, which is the one that's already stabbed. Yeah, stabbed all right. Him. 16 plus... Is oh, you hit. Basically, if you get anything above eight at the ranger at, you're gonna hit. I like this gun. Got a twenty. Oh, he's dead. You shoot him. Not only do you see your blaster hit him, just at the same time that Zuri's pulling the knife out, the blaster bolt doesn't just go through the armor; it destroys the armor. Yeah, this gun that I have, the the shadow, the Verpine shadow gun, it has like a blaster bolts, but they're magnetically accelerated, so they go even. Yeah, like faster. it's like a blaster rail gun. Yeah, handheld. 
It's a beautiful weapon, but it's also breaks very, very easily. Fiddly. It breaks <laughs> incredibly easily. Like it only has one D of damage to the body. So yes. So you got uh, two on the ground. One of them with a gaping, um, no armor hole in his chest. All right. Next, the one you uh, just smacked the face off of. What you doing, Stab through the hole in the face. <laughs> oh. Ooh. There's a reason they need so many stormtroopers to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> 25 to hit. You hit in the face. Roll your damage. Mm. 24. Alright. You hit him again in the exact same spot. Your blade sinks into his skull. Ah! Yes. Alright. Last one standing is the one he's fighting with. Do I have a shot? An easy shot? No. Because I wanted to try... If- at all possible to use my force bike over my shoulder. <laughs> under. <laughs> under. Yeah. I'm shorter. Yeah. Yes, you, you can try. All right. Because they're, they're basically boxing it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, blaster was with this hand, pulled his blaster, shoots, and then force bike in the other hand is just going to thrust forward. All right. Name combat 40 plus 2. 13. You missed. I missed. Dang it. You uh, stabbed. But because of the, their positioning, he just happened to twist out of the way just as your pike came through. All right. Our uh, shock boxer. I'm punching him again. <laughs> and grinning the whole time. 23. <laughs> All right. Will your damage. <laughs> yeah, it's that good. <laughs> oh, my. 29. Definitely felt that one. And he stumbled back again. Dropped his weapon and it's kind of. He's still standing, but he's kind of wobbling a little bit. So, no response from him this round. Zuri cu- walks up, just stabs him in the neck, and just keeps walking into the building. I follow suit. I hide the bodies. Kick him off the landing platform. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That works. I'm going to go over. <laughs> it's going to eat one of them. <laughs> <laughs> As Sap kicks the one that was no, re- no, 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 Quan wants that. <laughs> Sap's gonna kick the one that was resisting over the landing platform. He's like, "Bet you won't miss the ground." <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I want to go over and see if there is a terminal port at the door. There is. The door's unlocked, but it, it, there is a terminal port. Yeah, yeah I was going. Yeah. To, I wanted to like try and get it, see if I can get into the computer system. More stormtroopers waiting for us. <laughs> 24. 24. Uh, you get into the system, no <laughs> problems. Uh, you don't notice anything, un- like no alerts or anything no come alerts. up on okay. what you're seeing anyways. Yeah. There's no biological hazard or any sort. Liars. It's under quarantine because the system is being uh, transferred over into a first order computer system. Qual doesn't like those. They're a bit harder to hack into. Qual agrees. That's what you learn from hacking into that system. Looks like the First Order's taking over Kessel. Okay. I will let the rest of the crew know, particularly Zori, that this is what's going on. All the more reasons for us to get in and out of here quickly. Sounds good. With that, we'll take a quick break. Hey there, my name's Anthony, and I run an actual play podcast called Deep Fried Dice, where we play role-playing games. On Deep Fried Dice, we like to explore our imaginations and tell strange stories in alternate worlds, funny fantasies, and sort of epic fiction. Twice a week, we play games using genres and systems on the less traveled side of role-playing in the hopes of showing off the flexibility this hobby can provide. If you like tabletop games, bad jokes, and hearing stories, then come listen to us at www.deepfrieddice.com. So, y'all are uh, going to get your load of spice from what will soon be First Order's planet... This might be the last. This spice. might be your last spice run, if no. things don't work out for you. But it must flow. Spice must flow. It is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're the only Mandalorian here. No one's going to respond to you. Oh. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any more uh, stormtrooper resistance inside the building that you can see. Good. Resistance or presence? Presence. Okay. <laughs> difference. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a difference. Stormtrooper resistance is the other group we were thinking about playing. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was more asking if there are any stormtroopers inside. Yes. They're just inside and no one's caring that we're there. No, there's no more stormtrooper presence. Okay. You get to your contact's office, no problems. Knock on the door, and a droid opens the door. 
one that you don't recognize. I don't recognize this droid. <laughs> Hello. How can I be of service to you today? I don't think this is the droid you're looking for. <laughs> Hello, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Qual walks up. You're new? Tell Qual about yourself. I am Unit CB234. Hello, Unit. Nice to meet you. This is Qual. Hello, Qual. I am here to serve and give the shipments to suppliers. Qual is a supplier. What is your authorized user number? Seven. Short number. <laughs> Inadequate. Six, eight. Inadequate. I hack his brains. Alright. Roll uh, your droid programming. Do we really don't have a, a number for me? You don't have a, That was not the system that was in place before. I think uh, this is the new order system. system. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, this is a. This is, you've never heard of an order number. Okay. 2931. You, uh. Got into the system. What do you want to do in there? I want an authorization code. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and program in our ship as an authorized supplier. And uh, what else should or should I put in there? Oh yeah. Do any of us know what our sh- have Sorry. a shipment number that we're supposed to be picking up, or we're just supposed to meet a guy? You're and supposed to say, meet a guy and tell him how much you want. Hey, that's okay. how you've always done it in the past, anyways. Okay. We just how meet a guy are we and say to be wanting. You're, you're trying to pick up um, a full load. Of yeah, a full. It's basically, it's going to be uh, 18, 18 canisters. Okay, so 20, gonna, canisters. Yeah. 20 canisters. 20 canisters. 20 canisters. 22 canisters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Qual would like to make sure that Zori Bliss and Company are qualified to. Way to secure your spice running. <laughs> secure the spice, according to the new regime. <laughs> All right, you get yourself a authorization number and access codes. And okay, and I want to wipe the last few minutes so we can have this conversation again. Okay, authorization code is a triple Z four seven six Q one. All right, so you want uh, boot him back up? Yep, All I right. go. I, I set him to boot up twenty seconds after we come uh, after, after we come back door. around the corner. So then. We, I can, we can scurry around the corner and then walk back into the room. Zora's just kind of chuckling and shaking her head and walks back around the corner. Paul gets the job done. <laughs> so all of you head back around the corner. Door shuts. <laughs> Come walking up to the door again. Hello. How may I be of service to you? Hi, yes. We have a service number. Please give me your service number. Service number is ZZZ476 Quebec 1. Authorized. How may I serve you? We would like our standard order of spice. Your standard order? 22 canisters. One moment, please, while I process this order. Thank you. Have a cool day. The door closes. A few minutes later, it opens back up. Please pick up your order on landing pad 73. Thank you. And the door closes again. Just so you know, you're on landing pad 14. So, you gotta go movie the ship. Well, it could be worse. It will be worse. It will be worse. Alright. Uh, y'all head back to your ship? Yes. Y'all have any troubles? <clears throat> have the guards been replaced? Guards have not been replaced. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody seems to have noticed that they're gone yet. I mean, all together, this, since you've landed on Castle, you've been here for about 20 minutes total for all this to happen. You're making pretty good time. Faster than normal, actually. Alright, so we moved the ship. You go move the ship, and as you're uh, coming into land, you see your load of spice surrounded by 12 stormtroopers. Guys, again. Hey, we have a, a code now. We do. But the system wasn't supposed to be operational for another 16 hours. We still have the code. <laughs> we'll just tell them that we were on the computer's nice list. As, as opposed to their naughty list? Correct. Mm-hmm. Did Happy they check it twice? I'm sure they did. Well, they're going to have to because we're on it. So, yes, you're landing. You see your load there, or at least what looks like to be a load of 22 canisters of spice. 12 stormtroopers. You don't know if they're waiting for you or if they're just protecting it to make sure you are the ones who actually get the load. Just in case I did <laughs> pick up my bowcaster. Just remember, those are outlawed. So. Oh, they're outlawed? Yes. I'm not carrying my bowcaster. <laughs> I'm going to station in my... Uh... Sniper spot. Okay. 
Your just nest. in case. Yeah, my nest. So just in case. We're not all going out there with twelve stormtroopers. I'll go out there, but I'm going to hang back. I'll go out there. Zori's going to go out there to just to make sure that's actually his place. Don't want a fast one pulled on you because that's happened before. Time the huts filled it up with thermal detonators. Yeah, I mean it's like they wanted to kill us or something. I know. We gotta verify his spice before we do take get, it onto our ship. Do you got any of those left? The thermal detonators? <laughs> we sold them. <laughs> Y'all walk up. Lead stormtrooper steps up. State your authorization code. ZZZ four seven six Quebec one. He looks over at you. I wasn't talking to the bug. ZZZ four seven six Quebec one. <laughs> <laughs> Saf's gonna lean in was like, you guys are doing a quality job here. Quality. <laughs> Go first one. <laughs> After you give him the authorization code, he says, Can I see your uh, delivery orders? Hey, Bug, where'd those delivery orders go? Apparently, Qualis not qualified to answer questions. The Bug gave them to the other guy. What droid. other guy? The droid. He's the one who should have issued you the papers. These are the droid papers you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> I can't make things easy for you. It wouldn't have been on a piece of paper. It would have been on a on data pad. yes. I am going to go back into the ship, and I am going to hack the mother out of my data pad to put together something that I think is going to look reasonable. Okay. Zori says... He's got a chance cue. <laughs> Both of us pull chance cues out of our pocket. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Got some time to kill. <laughs> As Zori just says to Lear, while he's uh, retrieving the information, you mind if I just verify the shipment? And the stormtrooper says, it's already been verified. Can we verify it? <laughs> Not saying we don't trust you, but we have a hard time trusting you. As in, you know, we're delivering this product. We don't want to be the ones on the bad end of that. If, if, if All right. there's something wrong with it, it's not your life on the line, it's ours. Stormtrooper just, he steps aside, lets you in. I mean, you got 12 of them around the shipment, so he's not too worried about you. He should be. <laughs> he, he should be, <laughs> but... I'm going to roll my dice now. Um, I'm assuming this is computer programming? Yes. The two of you need to roll your... Uh, Gambling? Gambling? I'm in. Well, I, I was going to gamble with one of them. <laughs> oh, he's trying to gamble. You roll investigation. Ew. Do I have to? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. 12. 13. All Zuri's investigation as well. So, you were trying to convince one of the stormtroopers to gamble with you. Yes. It's not going to work, but... Like, come on, it's only 100 credits. Just one roll. 100 credits. <laughs> What's the bet? <laughs> <laughs> one roll, one hundred credits. <laughs> if it comes up we've red, done this. you keep the speeder. If it comes up blue, you keep the boy. <laughs> we do this all the time. What did you go on your investigation? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So everything to you looks like it should. All right. You uh, back with your data pad? I am. I did good. What'd you roll? Twenty-two. Okay. I rolled a six on my wild die, just for those keeping count. Maybe that should be the bone thrower's <laughs> drinking game. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> we no, thank you. wasted it. I like being so Every time Every Jory rolls time. a six on his wild, we gotta drink. So Jeff, when are you GMing the next game? <laughs> <laughs> you show up, you get him show him your uh data pad. He takes it. He takes a jack out of his uh armor and like just plugs it in to your data pad. I want to examine this technology closer. You go, so you go, like, go up and start he's studying like, it while, he, while he's just standing there like this? <laughs> yeah. So yes, he, while he's jacked into your data pad, uh, you, you're you examining him and he kind of swats you. So if you want to resist, you can uh, roll damage, otherwise it's just a swat. I'm not going to resist because okay. you're used to that. I'm used to... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he uh, unblugs, hands it back to you. Everything seems in order. And he uh, motions his head towards the ship. Three of the stormtroopers grab the carts and start pushing them towards your ship. This is the first order of the new system. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Here's a great title for the episode. First, first order of business. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. I can push it again, you know, if you guys don't mind. The first step there is a little bumpy. I'd hate to see you guys get hurt. I've got 100 credits for who can carry the most. 
I grab four <laughs> canisters. <laughs> I mean, how heavy are your strength. How heavy are the canisters? <laughs> I would imagine they're about... They're, they're probably about uh, 90 to 100 pounds and each. And he goes back to the uh, the one that he was trying to, to gamble with, and says, my money's not on the Stormtrooper. You want that bet? <laughs> 11. You try to grab four canisters, you successfully pick up one, <laughs> and knock over 12. Oh. The other two Stormtroopers... Push their carts onto the ship. You guys are no fun. Did anybody else carry any of them? Nope. No. no. I get 100 <laughs> credits. <laughs> Zori looks and she says, You want your money, now go clean up your mess. Oh. Of course. You acted too fast. I'm trying to gamble with these guys, and we would have each got 100 credits out of this <laughs> oh. oh. Next time, warn me. The stormtroopers, uh, all but uh, four of them, return back inside the building. They're just the four that are just standing on guard watching you. I have my sniper rifle trained on them. Let me roll perception. <laughs> I'm gonna continue carrying. Just to see if they see you. Me? Yes, you. Oh, they see. I'm you. hiding well. So roll for your hiding. Uh, perception. 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 Which you have nothing. Some sniper. <laughs> He's gonna oh, that's awful. That was a terrible roll. <laughs> so. You're hiding by standing on top of the ship. <laughs> I rolled a Looking threatening. You're literally standing on top of the ship, on the edge of the ship, with your rifle pointed at these guys. So do we get all the canisters off the ship? Eventually, yes. Took them the same amount of time as normal. Well, guys, it's been boring. Let's not do this again. And just turns and walks back to the ship. <laughs> Alright, so you take off. You uh, work your way around the mall, going towards Nalhada. No incidents until you jump out of like hyperspace. Immediately behind you is a small Star Destroyer. Small being a relative term. You know, it's only about 100 kilometers long. It can still fit, you know, a couple hundred of your ships onto it. Does it come out of hyperspace behind us or...? Behind you. As in, it follows you. I think we should just fly casual. <laughs> they don't make any rate contact or anything. They're just right behind you. As soon as you uh, start making your landing approach to Nal Hutta, you'll feel a jolt. Hot tag. Tractor beam. Zori pops up. They have us in a tractor beam. So, you all are uh, trying to fly forward and you're being pulled backward up into the Star Destroyer. Very Millennium Falcon style. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, put you in their landing bay and... You immediately see a squad of stormtroopers, rifles pointed at the ship. Over this radio, you hear, What is your business on Nal Hutta? What is your business oh. on Nal Hutta? <laughs> Do you all all seriously let him on the radio? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're making a delivery of supplies. It's actually, we're delivering a first order. We're making a first order delivery. First order authorized delivery of supplies. Yep. Yep. That's what you say over the radio. That's what we say. Yep. Okay. Would you like our authorization code? That's exactly what he asked for. He says, what's your authorization code for delivery? ZZZ476 Quebec 1. Please stand by for inspection. Do we have anything else illegal lying around? Oh, yeah. Sure. All I, of it. No. The entire ship. Everything. Top to bottom. Illegal. I mean... I mean... Weapons... <laughs> he means illegal to a point <laughs> where they're going to... Yeah. Actually, we all have illegal weapons on us. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes you do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Not to mention, like, you know, other things that we've picked up and then weren't able to sell. I have a, I have a full-on Starfighter. <laughs> That's not going to be legal. Well, they can see that from the outside. From the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anybody questions about the B-Wing, you just say that's your escape pod. Yeah. People don't really question that too much. Like, they ask you about it, but they don't question the legality of it. Oh, but the First Order would. Eh, maybe. We're First Order authorized yeah, spice depends, dealers. Yeah, depends on how much you resist them. Kind of. <laughs> I mean... Kind of. Kind of. Oh, Who knows what they'll, they'd let us do. Yes. Who knows? We deal with some uh, unscrupulous fellows. All of this equipment is used to protect first order assets. Yeah. They uh, stand outside waiting for you to load, open the uh, landing door. Not want any troubles or you go ahead that opens it. We don't have smuggling compartments, do we? 
Or is it just sitting in the middle of the You room? have some, but not enough to hide this much. <laughs> 22 yeah. canisters of spice. <laughs> but you're not trying to hide that. So. No. But, you know, the most illegal things that we have, you know. Well, aside you know, from I, your weapons, you I would assume you only keep those hidden anyways. Yeah. All right. Three stormtroopers come aboard. One stands right at the uh, entryway, while the other two go off in a pair to, you know, inspect the goods of the ship. Are you all going to let them wander free, or is somebody going to escort them? We'll let our meatheads accompany yeah, them. Yeah, I'd, yeah I'd, I'd go with them. Are you going with I'll one? prevent them. I mean, go with them. <laughs> I'm going to stand by the one that, by the ramp. So, yeah, uh, you got the boring job. Pass the time with a chance cube. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You got an acceptor! You roll red, I take your life. How bad is your gambling addiction? <laughs> I'm not as bad as yours. So. <laughs> so it's a good thing I took this one. That's not how you gamble. You start the stakes low to reel them in. I could really teach you a thing or two about gambling. Fine. Roll red, I take your life. Roll blue, I'll let you off the ship. But I don't want off the ship. Your choice. Hey, I'm just trying to gamble for something that's actually worth something. He obviously doesn't think much of you. So, the two, uh, well, with the two stormtroopers going to the ship, I, they go straight towards where the cargo hold would be. All right, what do you have on your person that would be visible? No, I'm just wearing my clothes and I'm... You got your shot gloves on? Because I keep them on all the time, just in case uh, any of the crew step out of line. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where are you guys, uh, where are you guys coming from? I didn't even see you when we first, uh, got out of, uh, Lightspeed. No response to that question. So, uh, what are you looking for? Where's your manifest? Hey, Bug! Where's the manifest? Qual's name is Qual. Get it right. <laughs> Qual, where's the manifest? It's in Qual's quarters. One moment. Why is your manifest not here at the docking bay? Qual is not the tidiest of people. Things wind up places by accident. By that he means he hoards. What do you have on this ship? I've got a load of spice. You're coming straight from Castle? Yes. yes. And who are you delivering this to? Oh, if I know. First order delivery goes down there. Mm-hmm. I come back. Okay. Got the manifest? Yep. All right. Sure. What does it say on it? It says spice. It says spice. It says baby. <laughs> <laughs> spice, spice, baby. These jokes are recorded for posterity. <laughs> We're sorry. We are so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It says spice. It also says I ha we have an order of monkey lizards. Their meat is tasty. We have some Nerf leather. None of us are scruffy. <laughs> we have repair parts for the most commonly used escape pods. Um, and also we have an order of the of Corellian ale. Is that all your manifest? Yeah. Okay. That's, That's all on the cargo manifest. He uh, takes it, looks at the spice, goes to one of the uh, canisters, takes out a scanner. And he scans the canisters. He scans one, goes to another one on a different pallet, scans that one. He take, goes to the corner of the pallet, tips one of the canisters, and he reaches down and he pulls out something. And he looks back at the manifest, hands it back to you. Thank you very much. And they leave the ship. Whoa, Could we whoa, see whoa, what, what did it you was? Take? You what? saw him grab something. You couldn't see what it was. Couldn't see what it was. It was a kitty cat. That wasn't there. What? What, what is that? That's your order of spice. No, no, no. What'd you take? He walks off the ship. Shoot him. No, 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 Shoot no, no. Him. <laughs> what, what did you take? I mean, he grabbed it from under the canister? From under the canister. Do you really? Do you... Did he take something out or leave something there? Okay, both of you roll perception. So we can see exactly what you saw. <laughs> the two least perceptive people <laughs> on the ship. Would you, can I roll perception as well? Oh, uh, yeah, you were there. From around the corner of the ship here. 50 credits, then? <laughs> Five. Seven! Four! <laughs> you seriously roll four? Four! You people are very unperceptive. <laughs> well, You're lucky you was... saw him tip the canister. <laughs> well, the GM gave us that. Got yes. it. You saw him tip the canister, reach his hand onto the bottom, and pull it out in a fist. That's what you saw. Well, don't just stand there, grab it. Why would I grab him? We're delivering for the... I'm We're gonna go over delivering to the for them over to check what's under it. under it. Okay. Roll your perception. 
I'm gonna look over his shoulder just because we need an extra set of eyes on this. Thirteen. All right. You go to the canister, tip it over, look at the bottom. There's tape residue, and where there's no tape residue, where the tape should be, it's just a circle. I look under the one next to it. Nothing. There was something on this thing. Is there something on it now? Tape residue. Mm-hmm. Tape residue. That's it. The two will come back to where you're at. The three of them leave the ship. So they, as they walking down the ramp, it's like, well, it's been a pleasure doing business with the No Fun Order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they let you leave the Star Destroyer. Um, as we're kind of taking off, I'm going to let Katari. Katari. <laughs> Zori. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Zori. Zori, no. Um, so, got some funny business in the back. What kind of funny business? They kind of took something from the bottom of one of our uh, tanks. What did they goods. take? Well, we don't know. Off of the bottom of the canister. They didn't open any of the canisters? Nope. No. They didn't even ask about the monkeys. Or the ale. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it was literally... Because th- Corilla ale is also illegal, so... I mean, they literally just walked in. They, they walked went. in, scanned a little bit, tipped one over, grabbed something, left. And did absolutely zero gambling. So do we go You gotta out? stop trying to gamble with stormtroopers. At least while they're on duty. When are they not on duty? <laughs> when they're off duty. <laughs> Has anyone ever seen a stormtrooper not on duty? Just asking. You no. don't know they're a stormtrooper. Would you know if they're a stormtrooper <laughs> not on duty? It's not like they wear a ne- necklace saying, Hey, I'm a stormtrooper. Ask me about my job. <laughs> I kill children. Exactly. I mean, they're always <laughs> on duty. <laughs> Alright. So Zuri's questioning that. Doesn't want to stay on the Star Destroyer, of course, because... That's a very dangerous place to be. And your uh, contacts are awaiting shipment. And with that, we'll go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to Bone Growers Theater. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 3.0, unported license. That means that you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you would like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is at bonethrowerstheater, and also you can look us up on Facebook. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.